right, he is the man, the myth, the legend. Let's check back in with him. Marty Bass is at the Babe Ruth Museum, a place showcasing another legend. Marty, what do you have for us now? Well, thank you very much, Megan, Denise, and everyone. Good morning. How are you? The current director of the Babe Ruth Birthplace Museum, Sean Hearn, the director emeritus, Mike Gibbons. Uh, we have this is Babe Ruth Day. Just tell them, reset the story for those just joining. Why it's Babe Ruth Day? Tell them very quickly. So, as Babe Ruth was kind of fin finishing up his life uh, back in 1947, the Yankees decided to honor him uh, on this day uh, in April, back in 1947. They brought him out to Yankee Stadium, famous photograph, and they, they retired his number. So that's that's uh, Major League Baseball now honors this day for Babe Ruth. So we figured on, you know, where is Marty's Museum Week? Why not come to one of the greatest places? A sports fan could come in Baltimore, and we're in a room that's got all sorts of really cool uh, trivia. Mike, let me just stand. All right. Okay, well, we, we, we teased the, the World Series trophy, okay? Tell them why, uh, Sean, tell them why we've won three and there's only two trophies. So this is a, my favorite trivia question because kids get this all the time. The St. Louis Cardinals in 1967 are the first team to receive a World Series trophy. So the 1966 Orioles are the last team not to get one. And we like to point out as Orioles fans, it's the reason why the Yankees don't trot out all their trophies, because they don't exist. I find it amazing. Give it to, I find it amazing. They didn't give, what did they do? Pat you on the button, say nice job, go on home, have a great off seat. <laughs> they, they, you didn't get a trophy for winning a World Series? You got a ring. Oh, that's great. Okay. You got a ring. And we're going to show you something. Okay, let's pan right over here. Uh, this is Joe Flacco's Super Bowl ring. Shout out number five. That's Joe's Super Bowl ring. In Sean's hand is, tell him. This is Brooks Robinson's 1966 World Series ring. So this is what they got. Look at the, the size difference. Look at the comparison. 66 to more recent time. That is a uh, uh, white glove because that's a nice iconic piece. Absolutely, and Brooks Robinson, the most beloved Oriole of all time. Of we're, all we're, time. we're thrilled to have it. Uh, there's a lot of pieces in this room. Uh, one of my favorites right here uh, to your left, Kay. Mm -hmm. oh, you're looking, by the way, at, at Brian Billick's sideline play chart and John Harbaugh's. But this blue pinstripe suit, tell them what that is. So this is uh, one of the suits that Gary Williams almost uh, sweated through when he won the national championship back uh, in 2002. And uh, as I was telling you before, the uh, wonderful thing about this is that the plane tickets are still in the pocket. That's crazy. Now I want to show you the coolest thing before we leave. Where else can you go to see the Vince Lombardi trophy and the World Series trophy in the exact same display case? Crazy. Sean, thank you so much for hosting us my this pleasure, day. My pleasure. <laughs> you can't, we can't shake hands. Yeah, you got to bring on. Mike, thank you so very much. The Babe, what's, what's the website real quick? Uh, uh, BabeRuthMuseum.org. Check it out and check it out. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Marty. And gentlemen, and go Saturday. Take your ch children. They can hold the Babe Ruth yeah. bat. Pose for it for a picture. Stay with us. We'll be right back.